morning friends welcome to the channel today is 17th may 2018 and tomorrow we are going to transit Magellan Strait, which is once in a lifetime opportunity and i feel even more blessed to be sailing when i get to visit such places today after one week seven eight days first time we have sighted these lands these are about 39 miles away but we are able to see them because these mountains have a height of about 900 meters the wind is about 11 knot temperature is 11 degrees dry and 7 degrees wet it's about this voyage from where we are coming and where we are going on screen is south america we were here this is pisco peru we departed seven days back and now we have reached in the pacific ocean straight southerly heading we have reached now one day passage is left from here to here we will be transiting this area this is called magellan strait and we'll be out on the atlantic side going to brazil but that's not the main thing let's concentrate back on our magellan strait This is Magellan Strait. All around it is going to be beautiful sceneries, landscapes, mountains and ice all around. This transit is almost one day, takes about 270 kilometers. Narrowest area is somewhere here which is about 5 cables. And here we'll be out. Weather is mostly very rough. We don't encounter any of such weather tomorrow. Maximum draft allowed is 21 meters. We are going to pick a pilot here at Cape Pillar, which is Felix Lighthouse. Narrowest part of the channel is somewhere here, which is five cables. Make almost about 90 degrees alteration to port and go up out here at Position Bay. Some ships don't use this Magellan Strait and then they prefer to go via Cape Horn which is the southernmost point of the South America. But here weather is e even more worst. Pacific Ocean on this side, Atlantic Ocean on the other side. Preparation starts one day before. Camera just fell off due to rolling. Fortunately, no damage. So uniforms ready for tomorrow. This look with that beautiful uniform, ah, uh, not good. This is better. Fully charged radio is a must for any arrivals and departures. Whenever you have pilot coming on board, you have to do some preparations for pilot. This is one pilot cabin and second pilot cabin is this one. So it's all ready. So today is the transit for Magellan. This is a Actis repeater in my cabin. Call master point is coming shortly. Need to get ready now. It's a lovely day. Time to go up on bridge. Very cold here. About 20. Third bit, where are we? Uh, sir, we are just we have just entered Bangladesh State. Now after one and a half hour, we are going to pick pilot from Felix Lighthouse. Okay, so we are almost at the call master point now. Yes sir. And we are going to pick a pilot here? Uh, yes sir. From waypoint number eight. So that's about how many miles? Thirteen miles, sir. Thirteen miles. Yes sir. So about eleven. Okay, so we will reduce to maneuvering RPM now. 
Okay, sir. You can call it end of sea passage 1000. Calling with master 1000. Okay, one zero zero zero. Many message to finish. Relative wind from bow is twenty two knots. That means the true is forty two from bow. Seven degrees dry and four degrees wet. Beautiful mountains having snow on top at the entrance of Magellan Strait. Both sides is full of mountains. Both side mountains are far away from the starboard side at this moment. Pilot ladder prepared for pilot boarding. So pilot card is prepared. All the vessels draft displacement, maneuvering characteristics, etc., which help pilot. Next launch turn. Next launch turn. Let's test our main engine ahead and stern. Yes, very good. Stop engine. Stop engine. Dead slow ahead. Dead slow ahead. Slow ahead. Slow ahead. Half ahead. Half ahead. So, like main engines, steering is also tested before any arrival departure. Okay, let's see. Both steering motors will be switched on during the transit. Steering is tested on both motors. We can get full information of target vessels by interrogating their AIS information. Here we have this pilot boat Nandu and this is another ship from where pilot has disembarked. Now if I want to see the details of Nandu, all I have to do is just double click on this and interrogate on the AIS detail. Here we go. Now I know that she is a pilot vessel, her length is 28 meters, beam 6 meters, draft 2 meters and basically all the information including MMSI number, call sign, IMO number, CPA, TCPA, speed over ground, course, everything I can know. Yes, pilot board. Okay, well copy that sir. Boarding speed 7 knots. Okay, standby 1316. Half head. Half head. Half head. Okay, good. One port side 2 meter above water level. Looks like pilot boarding in 15 minutes. As it's freezing cold and pilot is about to come, I have to wear so many winter gear. <laughs> Yeah, okay, Boston, very good. Stand by for pilot. Pilot boat right there. Pilot boat approaching now. Hello, Hello. pilot. Welcome on board. Thank you. So, two pilots have boarded and they will be doing five hours on off watches throughout the Magellan Strait transit and they speak Spanish only that's the pilot boat going away here yeah, Chasar we'll be increasing to sea speed now 9 0 okay. thanks chief engineer's wife on her first ship she is very excited to see new new things mountains, transits and enjoying her time really well on board. Pilots have already boarded somewhere here, but this is non-mandatory pilotage. Mandatory pilotage starts from starts from somewhere here at Punta Arenas. But my company they wanted pilot throughout. Too much depth, width, and ship is on sea speed, and there is absolutely no problem. Now both pilots on board. 
both pilots on bridge and they speak spanish language so we don't understand what they speak but when they have to communicate with us then they manage to speak some english also 8 to 12 ab already got bored because he had nothing to do vessel was on autopilot all the time now new ab has come to get bored four hours but hopefully he will not get bored because afternoon is all interesting part of this Magellan Strait and a lot of mountains will go by close so probably he'll enjoy that this is called pilot chair pilot order chair right in between Agdis and the steering stand pilots also get their own Agdis so pilots are also enjoying completely now it's 12 a.m. 12 to 1 is lunch time both pilots have ordered their lunch on bridge which will arrive shortly See how much preparation is being done to shoot time lapse for the Magellan Strait. Everybody on board is very excited for this transit. So it's time for us also to go down. Lunch is done, now I am heading back to the bridge. So whenever we are transiting Magellan Strait, pilot come up with a certificate which is issued to all the crew members. Here it is, it looks something like this. It has Spanish and English both on it. So here our smartest and most handsome AB on board Mr. Hitesh is writing the certificate for everybody which we The certificate says that this Magellan Strait is named after the, his its discoverer Ferdinand Magellan who discovered this strait in 1520. So if you are interested in full history you can pause this video and read it.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very One voyage, happy sailing, and Jai Hind! Yeah. Yeah.